Task Factory is a suite of SSIS components available from Pragmatic Works. In this video, we'll look at the Replace Unwanted Characters transformation. Taking unwanted characters or words from a column and replacing them with new characters or words is one of the more common SSIS tasks you'll ever have to do. Sure, you could use a derived column transformation, then fill it around with substring, but geez, what a pain that is! Fortunately, Task Factory's Replace Unwanted Characters transformation makes it easy. For this demonstration, I've set up a simple table called Replace Unwanted Characters, and in it I've put two columns, Product Name and Product Code. Into the product names I've put a few more popular products such as Microsoft SQL Server, Microsoft Office Word, Excel, and then over in the Product Code column I've used SQL Server with an underbar Office underbar Word and Office underbar Excel. In the package, I've created a simple control flow with just a single data flow task, and in the data flow I've wired up my source, which you can see hooks to that table, and then I just pull in those two columns. Okay, now for the magic. Let's drag in the unwanted characters transformation, and we'll hook it up. Make it a decent size, and we'll open it up. Okay, here's my two columns, and by default, the action it takes is no action. So I can click the drop down, and then from the action column, I have three choices. The most common thing you're going to do is replace specified characters or words within a user defined value. So I'm going to pick that, and then for the characters to be searched, I'm not going to pick anything right now because I'm actually wanting to replace a word with this example. So I'm going to highlight that and back it out and just click OK. And then for words to be searched, by default it displays backslash T, which is the tab character, a backslash R, backslash N, which is carriage return line feed. Well, in this scenario, we're going to suppose that Microsoft has just been bought by Pragmatic Works. Hey, what can I say? We think big. So I'm going to replace the word Microsoft in my list of products, Oops, if I spell it correctly, and we'll click OK, and then I'm going to put in the new word of Pragmatic Works. Now you notice in a parameter type I've got direct input, which means I can just type in there, but I can also choose a column or a variable to use here instead. I can also choose to ignore case or I can choose how many times I want to replace this. Perhaps I just want to replace it the first time I find it. Here though, we're going to replace it every time we find it, so I'm going to leave the maximum number of replacements set to negative one. There's one more thing I'm going to do. Here in the output action, by default, I replace the column. However, I can also choose to output the fixed data to a new column. Well, that's what I'm going to do so we can make it easy to see the changes that have been made. We'll click OK. And for product code, we're also going to choose to replace specified characters. Now this time for the characters, we want to replace that underscore, because we don't like underscores. Let's say we like dashes. So down here under replace with, I'm going to hit dash, click OK. And like before, instead of replacing the column, I'm going to output it, click OK, and click OK again. Now, in order to show the output, we're just going to use a Task Factory Terminator destination. This is another tool from Task Factory, and it just acts as a dead end for our data flows. We can put data into it, and it just takes that and throws it away, but it's convenient because it allows me to come here and add a data viewer. And with that data viewer, I'll simply click Add, and you can see in the grid, I've got the four columns, and we'll click OK and OK and then we'll run this. We'll execute the package. And there we are. Here is my output. And let's make these a little bit bigger. And you can see here that Microsoft SQL Server is now Pragmatic Works SQL Server. Microsoft Office Word has become Pragmatic Works Office Word and so forth. Within our product codes, we replace the underbars with dashes.
So I hope you see that using the Task Factory Replace Unwanted Characters transformation is far simpler, faster, and easier than fiddling around with a derived column and a bunch of substrings and trying to match all that out. You can learn more about the product by going to pragmaticworks.com.